Thank you very much. I'm so I've excited. always thought about that, Cubby. You said the odds of winning are one in 10,000. <laughs> what are the odds? And I said, well, the odds are one in 10,000. I know. Yeah, it's a very simple question. I, I at least caught myself. Yeah, yeah, I was exactly. like, what a dumb. What are the odds of that? I, well, they're one in 10,000. But wait, do you hate watching interviews of yourself when you're younger? I don't even do it. I don't really want to sit oh. there like Narcissa staring at my own reflection. Oh, God. Stare no, I, I mean, once in a while something comes up, I want to see you know, an old star or something. Oh, God, look at them. I'm not really yeah. looking at myself. No, no, no. Oh, well, that's because you're awesome. Much. But that was crazy. Well, that was 17 funny. years ago. But just the fact you said on TV, I'm your first. I thought that was... Yeah! Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was so great. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, well, we actually dug up... Um, because I love you so much, I yeah. do. I'm a weird stalker love. But anyway, um, I found a picture from like the first day, since this is like the first season for me hosting, okay, I no, found no. a picture of you hosting for okay. the first time. Look at you! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so handsome and Yes, suits. yes, so handsome. So yeah. handsome, you are handsome. Well, that's very kind. You're my Thank first, you. I wouldn't have given it up. That's to right, I was handsome. your first. <laughs> See, I love, now see, anybody tuning in right now will go, whoa, what? I didn't know that. <laughs> Well, when you're good, you're good. That's it. Um, no, um, no. I just I loved going on your show. I thought you were just so much fun and so kind. And you came to everybody's dressing room. You. That's my favorite thing about you. And you like really invested in people, and it mattered, and you cared. And I thought oh, that well, was thanks. really cool. Well, I always like to talk to people. So much. You can watch Jay going car crazy with all kinds of A-list celebrities every Wednesday at 10 p.m. on CNBC. Who else are you talking cars with this season? Oh, we got Matt Damon, we got Travolta, oh. we've got Martha Stewart. Dang. Martha, hilarious, Martha Stewart. <laughs> Martha's got a 58 Etzel. Yeah, so, what? oh yeah, no, she's, she's a car girl. She's, you know, she's a real tomboy. She's a lot of fun, she's a lot of fun. She was great. She just got super hot with the old car, that's cool. Yeah, no, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think the cool thing I found out about you too is you and Mavis, your wife of 40 years, which yeah, is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like, why is that yeah, crazy? It's you crazy. Got, no, no, that is crazy. Because well, that why doesn't, is that crazy? It doesn't exist anymore. Oh, Everybody sure has a fight oh, and you get divorced. People. No, no, we have a great time. You have to marry a normal person. That's the that's, <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean that, because I meet guys all the time, you know, and they'll say, I met this girl, she's crazy, but the sex is unbelievable. It's unbelievable, you know? <laughs> and I go to them, yeah, you're right, but when the sex is over, she's still crazy. Okay? Yeah. So now you have 23 hours of crazy until your good crazy hour comes back again. <laughs> So it depends how long you can go. And, and you know, and the trick is just, you know what I say? It, it's, it's, a quote I, it's a quote I gave to Drew Barrymore because she asked me this question. I said, always marry your conscience. Marry the person you wish you could be, you know, who was kind and maybe whatever faults you have doesn't have those faults. And that's worked out for me. So to me, I, I married that's the perfect really person. That's really good advice. Yeah, it worked out good, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. But and y'all, you and Mavis also live in, you have lived in the same house, like before the Tonight Show. Oh, yeah, since, live... uh, well, you bought a house back in there. We live on a, a cul-de-sac, which is rich people talk for a dead end. It's a dead end. <laughs> but but, but I'll, I'll tell you a story. We're in the dead end street, and it's in Beverly Hills, and there are like three houses here, and there's our house, and we have this driveway. And every Sunday since we moved in, about 8 or 8 o'clock in the morning, on a Sunday, I would say to my wife, Honey, walk down the driveway. Let's get the Sunday paper. No, I'm not walking the driveway. I got my robe and slippers on. I'm a mess. My hair's not made up. Somebody's gonna see me. They're gonna take a picture. There's nobody. nobody it's eight o'clock on a Sunday on a dead end street. Nobody. No, I'm not doing. No, no, no. So finally, after four years, it's like a beautiful spring day. I go, come on, walk me down the driveway. I'm like, all right, fine. So give me a hand. Come on. We get up to the drive. I get up. There. Some guy standing there. Okay. <laughs> hey, is this your wife? Hey, can I get a picture? Okay. Now, oh. now she's all PO'd. Because she told you. Yeah. 18 years go by. <laughs> it's now 2011. I go, honey, come on, walk me in the driveway. No, remember 18 years ago? Remember that guy? I, I, fine, fine. <laughs> fine, I'll go by myself. Now, I just have, you know, running shorts and that same T-shirt every guy sleeps in, you know. And this is a 100% true story. I get to the top of my driveway, and I see the two most incredibly well-dressed people standing there. And the guy turns around, I go, Prince William? He goes, hello. No. Kate Middleton, lovely home. Well, thank you, I'm just getting my paper. Are we in your way? No, 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 I'm just, uh, no, no, I'm just getting my paper. Uh, 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 so what, what, what brings you to my driveway? Well, my neighbor is a, a kind of a famous guy who's a big philanthropist. And when, they, when the royals are visiting in 2011, he had a children's charity event on his lawn. And they wanted to stop by and thank him. And their car was parked down the bottom of the street parallel to keep people from coming up. Yeah. And Prince William said, it's rather crowded up there. Can we stand in your driveway until a car collects us? I said, feel free to stand in my driveway. <laughs> 
all day long. You know, thank me. you so much. And I go back inside and I say to my wife, honey, it's a good thing you didn't come with me up the driveway. <laughs> and she says, and she says, and she says, why is that? I said, because the next king and queen of England are standing in the driveway. Uh, she and then she says to me, you know, you don't have to be a smart ass. <laughs> I say, I'm not, I'm not being a smart Yes, you are. No, I'm, yes, you are. No, why don't you look outside? Oh my God, you are. And, then, and they were out there, yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. No one has that story. That's crazy. No, that's my story. That's why I told oh it. Oh, my yeah. God. That's so crazy. If everybody's telling that story, I wouldn't have told it. <laughs> All right. My next question, what's, like, you know, one or two moments that stuck out to you on The Tonight Show? Like, like your favorite moments? You know one moment, and this really stuck out to me, uh, this, and it's not really a, well, it's not a funny moment at all. Uh, I was 13 when John F. Kennedy was assassinated. And when they had the... Funeral procession. Remember, little everybody here is too young, but the little John John was saluting the mm -hmm. coffin, and my mother was just in tears. Just you know, beside and you know when you're a kid and your mom's crying, you're like, I, I, what can I do here? You know, and I was sort of helpless and hopeless. I said, Fifty years go by, I have Seinfeld on, my second guest, John F. Kennedy Jr. And I saw him come out, and then for some reason I started to tear up because I flashed back to my mother crying, watching the TV, yeah. and I never thought that triangle, whatever. I never thought yeah, I would know that little boy. And my mom had passed away by that time, so I could never tell her that he turned out to be okay, you know? And I didn't flash back to it when I was in the dressing room. It wasn't until I saw it on the monitor, remember seeing it on TV with my mom, like sitting literally where you are, while we're watching the TV and she was in yeah. tears. And I felt like I wanted to tell her it was okay, you know? Aww. But it was just one of those emotional moments. And the producer's going, what was going on there? I said, ah, nothing, nothing, it was just, it was just one of those weird things that hit me. And it only hit me because, because of that. I never thought that would ever happen in real life. Who would have thought? Yeah, exactly. that's a crazy yeah. full yeah, circle exactly. moment. Cool, cool. Not that I brought the show to a screeching halt. No. But, uh, no. but no, yeah, yeah, but it was just, it was just. You have a, the coolest stories. I don't well, know anyone cool. It was a fascinating <laughs> moment. It was a fascinating <laughs> moment. <laughs>